Perfect Dirt Podcast, episode 170, Lamar, Unlucky Charms, or Unlucky Us, depending <laughs> on how you look at it. <laughs> well, we have a movie that combines St. Patrick's Day <laughs> lore with the reality TV element, um, models, and anything else am I forgetting? Cre- other creatures that I'm not sure if they have anything to do with Irish culture or whatever. We're, we're going to talk about that, Joe. That, that, that's another thing, because this is a very interesting movie from Full Moon. Yep. So Directed you know, by Charles Band. Himself. Right. This is interesting. By the we, have, we have a respect for you, but this was interesting. <laughs> I, I was just like, oh, okay, well. <sighs> well, Labar, we'll start with our first category, which is story. And you might have to explain this to me because I'm not sure if I understood this story. <clears throat> I guess in the Celtic, I don't even know if I'm saying this right, lore, mm-hmm. there were these creatures that had powers that would help humanity. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, humans started using them for their own selfish deeds. And their charms. And, this is, and their charms, <laughs> hence the movie. Right. Fast forward to present day, Joe. <laughs> we have a reality TV competition between, was it six women? Something, six women. Six nice looking women. Six nice looking, okay. Six nice looking women competing kind of What was like that? For, you didn't think they were nice looking, Lamar? What's going on here? <laughs> all of them, I'm not going to judge. They were well, all special in their own way. If they're listening, I found you all quite lovely. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying they were all, like, but I'm not even going to go there. So they're competing for uh, kind of like a next top model thing. Yeah. For uh, D.D. DeVille's fashion line <laughs> in a house that's being recorded everywhere. And then she yeah. has two other judges. But unbeknownst to them, their what is their life force is being sucked out Yeah. by D.D. to keep her young. Yeah, she, and that's what she's using the charms for, to be able right. to suck the, the life force out of the pretty women that Lamar doesn't care for. I didn't say that. I just said, <laughs> they're nice women. That's all I'm saying. And then the leprechaun, basically, he's trying to stop this and make it right. Based, right? <laughs> Is that yes. correct? I don't know. <laughs> yes, that's that's it. Um, would, would you rate the story, <laughs> Lamar? <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like they should have. I know it's safe for it's for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I feel like they could have just had a story with the woman sucking the life out of the women. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know where the charms needed to be there. I guess it was explained, but it was kind of a weird element. I'm gonna give it a half a point. Okay, you know? what do you think? Uh, I'm also going to give it half a point because I, not not that I understood all of it or the reason behind all of it. Um, it the way things progressed in such a, a silly manner, I thought it was funny. <laughs> yes. It, it, wow. Okay. Next category, Labar, the characters. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have... What's his name? We have the main... A leprechaun person, Far Darig. Okay. He's the leader of the creatures. Mm-hmm. Um, what about the creatures, Joe? Well, there's a cyclops <laughs> and then two, I guess, trolls. I don't know what they were, honestly. They were troll like, I guess. Yes. And then you had uh, the host of the show, or uh, you had the judges. Yes. Which one of them was, uh, what's his face, his brother? <laughs> Jerry O'Connell's yeah. brother. Wait, is it Jerry O'Connell's yeah. brother? Okay, it's Jerry O'Connell's brother. So I was like, I know, that guy looks like somebody else. No, so that's Jerry, Jerry O'Connell, O'Connell right? It's Chris O'Connell's brother. Wait, this is Charlie O'Connell. Okay, so it's, okay. See, we don't know the O'Con- O'Connells as we yeah. should. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's not. I don't know. He, he, he looks like Chris. You know who he looks like? He looks like Chris O'Donnell. Yeah, it's him. It's not his brother. But his that but we're talking about Chris O'Donnell. <laughs> 
Oh, whoever the fuck he is, he's in the movie. <laughs> he's a guy. He he's the 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 uh, shady kind of producer. He has a relationship with one of the girls to yeah. promise her stuff. Then he there's Pearl, who is the gay judge, kind of like like on American. Society. And he I looked like, like a, a low rent Rob Lowe, <laughs> that guy. Wow, I didn't even <laughs> think of that. At first, I was like, "Whoa, is that guy related to Rob Lowe?" I was like, wow. "I don't know." Yeah, and then we have Dee Dee Deville, who we found out was not well. We thought she was in Die Hard, right? But she was actually in Walking Dead. She was actually in Walking Dead. Yeah. Yes. And then you um, have all the, you know the gals that are competing in the thing, and um, they all have their own personality. I will say they did a good job with that because you have yeah. the one girl that's like pure. Yeah. You have the one girl that's like obsessed with her body because she yes. doesn't. She was fat as a little girl. Yes. You have the conniving woman that's trying to just beat everyone out. And you have a, a bunch of different characters. Uh, I'm going to give it one point for characters because they did have an assortment of characters. <laughs> you you have you have convinced me, Joe. Yes, they have an assortment of characters. So yeah. All right. We'll move along then to our next category. <laughs> the special effects. Uh, there was some light stuff. Um, <laughs> there was one time where they made a woman look fat. That was they, cool. Th when was this movie made? Like 2013? They were yes. using some kind of weird morph effect. Yeah, they were. Yeah. And they use it a lot. <laughs> yes. Uh, but aside from those kinds of special effects of our they did have prosthetic effects i guess uh the cyclops had some kind of makeup on yeah what i wanted to know more than anything was the leprechaun what was on his face boils what was that? that's a good question because <laughs> i did not understand that at all like because he doesn't look like that at, in real life Right. It, it was added, so it's like, yeah, why is his face like that? I don't know. I was like, do leprechauns have weird stuff on their face? Like They might have. They have the big... Well, wow. We're stereotyping leprechauns. They have the big nose with maybe a boil on it. Okay. But that's it. They don't have like... Or maybe we just don't know our leprechauns, you know? Well, whatever it was, this leprechaun had boils all over his face. <laughs> Yeah. And then the the two troll like characters, those just look like Halloween masks that were painted up. So I'm giving it one point because I was laughing at the whole fucking shit, honestly. Oh, uh, <laughs> I understand. I have to disagree. I'm giving it a point five. It's, okay. You know, a little bit more could have been. Listen, it wasn't good, but it was all hilarious. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's understandable. Okay, yes. Well, the next category, Lamar, is always near and dear to our hearts. Yes. TNA. One. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, and you wanted to discuss this more. I do want to discuss this because I'm, I'm giving it only a half a point, Lamar. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a first for our podcast. Listen, Why, Joe? <laughs> usually Why? TNA gets an automatic one point in our move in our okay. reviews. <laughs> but if you have a plot that revolves around six nice looking women in a house and you only had two quick scenes, that that to me was a disappointment. I felt I felt disappointed, Lamar. <laughs> Given the plot, because I was like, what the, What are we reviewing this week? And you said, well, we'll review this one for St. Patrick's Day. And I read the plot, and I was like, six you know, beautiful women in a house competing, and it's a full moon feature. I was like, you know, here we go. <laughs> I, was, I thought it was a little, a little lackluster in that department, so I'm deducting a half a point. I'm not gonna debate you. <laughs> I thought it was always an automatic, but this is this is the first time. If we ever have a trivia like show about our uh, stuff, this is an important part. Like the one time we didn't give a one from each of us for TNA as a category, it would be this movie. So our our audience, pay attention. Okay. There you go. 
Well, I guess the last category, we are watching this to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Uh, what did we think of the St. Patrick's Day uh, use <laughs> or whatever? Or <laughs> um, I mean, there was a leprechaun. <laughs> he was there. He had uh, charms. Or there charms. were charms. There were charms. Uh, I don't know. It was, I guess. <laughs> a little bit like meh I mean aside from the I mean if you if you took the leprechaun out of the movie what would be left over the charms I guess yeah and like I said <sighs> like you would have a movie within itself like this woman like maybe she's mysterious and she's st stealing these women's youth but it's like well what do you need the little munchkins running around for you know what to be accurate I'm going to give it one point because there was more St. Patrick's things in here than there was TNA. <laughs> so uh, you I'm are give petty. It one point. <laughs> you are petty. That is so petty. Well, I mean, you're giving it a point, but you're, oh my God. One point for St. Patrick's Day. I was going to give it a half a point because it's not really that related. Wow. Hey, well, you, you do as you please, sir. Yeah, I can't. Wow. I'm just really, you You really are mad about this TNA <laughs> thing. We tallied the score, and this movie gets, uh, surprisingly, a three and one quarter out of five. It is very, it has, like, weird elements that was brought down by, like, other stuff that we were just like, what, what's going on here? Yeah. So it's just, like, in the middle, so. Yeah. It's, it's funny, because it has elements that are kind of not so good. And that's what makes it funny. But the story is a little all over the place. But yeah, Charles Band, we love you. Yes, we do. Yes. But uh, this one might <laughs> was a little out there. <laughs> hey, man. You know it happens to the it happens to the best of them. Yeah. yeah. More yeah. TNA would have. This would have almost gotten a perfect score with Lamar. Just saying. It would have it would have taken them to the next spot. Yeah, That's what would have went up a level at least. Jeez. Well, does that wrap this one up? It does. All right. Unlucky charms. Peace. Deuces.